Hey friends, this is the Miss Mofi from our half acre homestead with a tea up, tea break. And no, you're not seeing things. These are actually my piano glasses and these are my computer glasses. They're the same, but these ones are pinker and they went with my shirt, so I decided to wear them. <coughs> Thank you so much for all the wonderful comments on the tree decorating video. Nan and I had a good time. We didn't have a whole lot of people around um, to help decorate this year and the rest of us old farts well we do it in stages and we take our time and and I mean it took mom and I hours to decorate that tree you saw us and my sister-in-law Karen putting the lights on on Friday night and then uh, daddy didn't like some of the white lights so he took them off because he said they looked like blobs and while mom and I were out on Saturday he put the garland on and uh, we got home in time just to watch him put the garland on the the rest of the garland on. And then Mum and I spent hours decorating the tree. We'd have a cup of tea and we'd sit down and we'd put get up and put a, on a couple of ornaments and we'd talk about the past and Christmases past. And it was really good. I mean, we just really enjoyed it. We had the, the Christmas music playing and every once in a while... You know, a, a really good, like, rocking around the Christmas tree song would come on and, and Nan and I would, you know, do a little bit of a bop, put some more ornaments on, sit down, have another cup of tea, and we had a blast. Um, there's a lot of people, um, I, the reason I'm doing a comment video is because I just have not had a moment to myself to sit down and answer all the comments. And I wouldn't have been able to do them justice anyway. Um... There's some people that, you know, are really sad, and this is a, a, going to be a rough time of year for a lot of people. But sadness, this too shall pass. Eventually, I mean, yes, we remember loved ones and, and, and loved ones past and, and stuff at this time of year. And some of them are recent passing. And... You just got to put one foot in front of the other and know that this too shall pass. You'll never forget your loved ones that are past. And it's going to be painful for a while. But eventually that pain mellows so that memories don't bring tears, they bring smiles. Time does heal all. Okay, so just hang in there. For those of you who are having a rough time right now, it's, you know, it's really important that you just breathe. And, and if you have to, ask someone for help. Phone a hotline or talk to God. So, um, a lot of people were making, you know, comments on the homemade ornaments and, and some people were sad because they, they got lost in a fire or whatever. Well, I've got a story of my own. The reason you don't see too many of my kids' homemade ornaments on the tree is because they were all lost in a flood. Um, the one I, the one tree bark ornament that I have for, that Arthur made was, it, it was in my sister's ornaments and she gave me the the family ornaments and there were you know the one i showed you from my nephew in australia um you know it's over 40 years old those came and the one the tree bark from arthur those came from her ornaments so i was really grateful to to uh receive them but the first christmas um after our bankruptcy we had to move into a rented house and we store we put all our ornaments and stuff they were in rubbermaid bins and we put them down the basement for storage and i we commented that there was a sump pump there or a sub, yeah a submersible sump pump and how he said well everything's in rubbermaid bins so i'm sure you know it'll be fine right if any water does the pump will pump it out well the pump broke down and it filled the basement so full that like it was like two feet deep 
and the bins would float and then they would wobble and tip over and they weren't watertight in the in the lids and all my ornaments got lost. Well, all, all the ones that were that could be damaged by water and that meant all my homemade stuff. The only thing that I was able to rescue was, of a homemade ornament was Howard's from when he was in grade one. And it it's a little, it's a the lid, lid of a cocoa tin. Remember the lids of the cocoa tins? You would pry them up and they would be this little metal disc. <clears throat> well, he painted it in grade one. He, he painted different colors on the back and his picture was cut out and put in the front. Now the picture was lost and I've put a, a Christmas card in there, but I saved it. I, I saved it. So that was on the tree and I, I forgot to show it to you. But I mean, I was devastated, devastated when I lost all my ornaments uh, that the kids made. Because every year, this, you know, every year we would, as they got older, we would do all kinds of crafts. And we picked a craft project every year um, to make a homemade ornament. One year, we bought all these little um, butter tart, they're small butter tart foil tins. And I had, I used to collect the Coca-Cola Santa Claus uh, playing cards in the tin. And well, eventually we end up using them and cards get lost and stuff. But the Santa Clauses and the pictures on them were really cool. So we would cut those out and set them in the scent, glue them in the center of this little tart tin and then put glue around it in the frame and put sparkles on it and put a hook on them and on the tree they'd go. And another year we dipped pine cones, uh, closed pine cones in paint uh, put sparkles on them and then hung them by the wood stove and then the pine cones would open and we had dipped them in white paint and they looked like pine cones with snow on them. I mean there's you, you just hot glue a hook on them. I mean there's all kinds of things. Uh, taking pipe cleaners, tinsel pipe cleaners and wrapping them around a pen and then pulling the pen out and stretching them out and they were like a spiral icicle. You just bent the end over. I mean, it doesn't have to be an elaborate craft for you to have a good time with your kids and make ornaments. But mine were all lost. So whenever, um, that's why I treasure all the homemade ornaments, the stuff that came in my, you know, that my sister had saved, thank God, because mine were destroyed. And that you know from my mother-in-law who you know mom who gave gives gave me a lot of her ornaments and her the 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 angel from her tree i mean these things are precious to me all the ornaments that you guys have have made and sent you know they're they're all precious to me because a one one flood and a broken sump pump later and all mine were gone so I, you know, ornaments are a big deal. They're a big deal. But the memories, I still have the memories. And if nothing else, the loss of those homemade ornaments um, that me and the kids made, made me remember those ornaments more. They're now etched in my head, the little foil cups with the, the playing card pieces and, and the pine cones and you know, paper chains and all those things. Because after all, stuff is just stuff. It's the memories. It's the memories that, you know, warm the cockles of your heart, right? So anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the kind comments. Nan and I had a blast, and, or Mum and I had a blast, and, uh, you know, we enjoyed it. I'm really tired now, so I'm going to rest. But tomorrow, I'm going to start baking videos. So you will be uh, getting a, a series of Christmas treats in, on video um, that, that are mostly simple and uncomplicated. And some of them, you're just going to be able to plop your kids down with all the ingredients and let them do it. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I'm going to bed now because I'm baking tomorrow.
Take care. I love you. God bless and Merry Christmas.